Hi, uh, this is the first uh, video explaining Word Project 2. So if you go to your Blackboard, to your cursors, you've gone to 105 VL1, I assume you've gone there, you've gone to Week 4, you've gone to Word Project 2, and you've then clicked on uh, the link to this video, which will be embedded here when I'm done making the video. When you do that, then you should first go over cover letter resume PowerPoint. If you already know how to do cover letters and resumes, if you've already created them, then don't bother watching this PowerPoint. If you have not, uh, this is a PowerPoint lecture that our uh, internship coordinator here at the College of Business at Ferris State has done and it's an excellent video for you to go over. Okay, the next thing is then the cover letter document. And I'm going to be going through three parts to this um, project, three videos. The first part I'm going to go over will explain how to write the cover letter itself. Okay, so I'm going to click on cover letter and then I will open it. It should be in Microsoft Word 2010 or 2013 and then save it as a 2010 document. Now that will then open up a file that looks like this. It's a general cover letter template. You do not keep general cover letter template on here when you're sending it out to an employer. So the first thing to do is delete that. Okay. The second thing is here to put your address, city, state, zip information. Now there are a couple of formats for doing this, but this is the format I'm using. So you would insert in here your street address, whatever that might be, and then you follow that with city, state, and zip. So I'm putting mine in right now. Okay, and then the current date. Now that says enter four times after that. That is to get four blank lines. Those four blank lines are already there. If I highlight this document, then whenever I type, I type over it. So then I'm going to insert, and then I can go over here to date and time, and I pick a format that looks good to me. I like this format. It doesn't matter to me which format you pick, but I would not pick one that has the date or one that has the time. Okay, so now that date's here. Whenever you run it, you will get the same thing. This prospective employer professional title, all of this information is actually going to come from mail merge, so I'm going to leave that alone right now. This is also going to come from Mail Merge. So in here now is my letter that I want to address to my employer. So you need to spend a few minutes to go over what you want to have in this letter. In the letter, I want you to have two things that make it unique. So introduce yourself by briefly explaining why you are interested in this person, company, or position. Do not begin with, hi, my name is. Make a closer connection by stating how you heard about the person, company, or position by referencing a referral and something like this. Now this we're actually going to put in through mail merge, but we need to put the general outline of it here first. For the body paragraph, give your background. Briefly make sure it applies to why you are interested in this person or company. State what you want from the recipient. For example, I would like 15 month, minutes of your time, etc. And then a closing paragraph for a specific action following up. Okay? So what I'm going to do now is pause this video and I will write something like this and have it, uh, when I come back on the video, we will be uh, going on from here. So as soon as I can...
find the plug. Continuing on now, I've made some changes to this. This is the original letter that you downloaded. And when I'm going through here, this is just my creation right now. I don't think it's super great for a cover letter, uh, you know, but again, we do not grade on the exact wording, how great that is. We're looking at the technical things you're doing, and is it reasonable? So this is reasonable, not fantastic. A lot of English people could do an awful lot better than me. So I started out, for, the most, for most of my life, I have admired the products, and then I'm going to insert in here the company. The companies I may use are Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook, uh, it could be anything like this. It could be whatever industry you're picking. But I'm going to change this for every single letter I make by using Mail Merge. Makes and have been interested in helping create those great products. Recently I heard, and in the heard, I'm going to change that to something like uh, was attended the Ferris Career Fair and met with your advisor or, or met with your recruiter, uh, met with uh, Joe Jones, uh, or I read in the um, Journal of um, Computer Information Systems, or, you know, however you heard about this job. So you got this and heard that you had a job opening for a position. Again, I'm going to use position like I did company, like I did herd, to come from mail merge. So I could ask for a position as a software developer, a um, help desk uh, worker, I guess I'm having trouble with the name of that right now, um, or as a um, sales uh, tech person for the field. It uh, could be whatever I wanted there. Whatever this position is, I'm going to, again, customize it for my letter and for my resume. I will be graduating from Ferris State University in May with a degree in computer information systems and have had experience working with, and again, your company, the company, same one I had up here, same one that's up here. All of these are going to be the same products on my internships. I will be in city. So now that might be Redmond, Washington now. So Redmond's up here. It's the city the employer is at on March 12th. I just picked a date and would like 15 minutes of your time to discuss a way I could help company, 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 company. I'm using that company name all over the place to make this really personal. I know your time is at a premium kind of flattering the person, but I would very much appreciate spending a few minutes with you and get to know, get to get some of your valuable time and advice. I will call your assistant the week of March 1st to schedule an appointment with you. Thank you for your time. Now, if you're really sending a letter, you should uh, type sincerely here and then hit enter four times and actually write your signature here. If you're doing a um, electronic mail sending of this or something like that, you would not have to do this. Then here, I should be printing my name this, so that I have all of that information there. Now, here are some extra tips, but we're not really going to be using that right here. Avoid rewriting your resume or cover letter. Only include, so the whole point here is by writing this resume and cover letter here, we don't have to rewrite it for everyone we can use mail merge. Only include specific things you would like highlighted about your experience as it relates to the desired position. Keep it simple, don't make it long drawn out, don't use complicated vocabulary, be accurate, address the right people, check spelling. Make sure you check spelling. All you have to do is go up here if you don't have spell checker on and go to review and click here on spelling and immediately it checks everything and it will tell you everything that is wrong. 
So we need to make sure that that is eliminated. Okay, that is a way to make sure you don't get the job. Avoid generic letters. This is generic, but it doesn't look like it. Limit your cover letter to one page, three to five targeted paragraphs. Some of the words included in the job description when writing the cover letter, proofread it, have other people check it, be confident of your skills. This is basically it for creating the cover letter. Now, what I'm going to do uh, in the second video is show you how to then include your resume on to the end of the cover letter to make it much easier. And then I will create a video that will show you how to use Mail Merge with both of those. So what I'm going to do now is highlight this. And I'm going to hit Control Enter so that I get a new page because that's where I'll put resume in the next video that I create. Thank you very much.